Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for joining us for your word for the day. My name is Robert. Uh, it's good to have you here. I have a confession as we start, and that is that I'm not good at sticking to fitness routines or diets. I love being fit and healthy, but I also love good tasting food and desserts, and I don't always love exercise. In fact, I'm best at exercising when I can disguise it as a fun activity and not simple exercise. Maybe you can relate. Because yo-yo dieting and exercising is incredibly common. If you're a gym goer and you're one of those people that does it year round, you see that every January the gym fills up with people that make New Year's resolutions and then a few weeks fail to follow through. But if we're honest with ourselves, there are more areas that consistency can be a struggle in our life. Not just diet and exercise, but other areas as well. Maybe for you, that also includes your walk with Jesus. See, as a teenager, I thought I was alone with this. I thought it was just me that, that struggled to be consistent walking with God. And then as a teenager, I heard the hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, which has this line. It says, prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. And that resonated with me so much that I, that I thought for the first time, maybe I'm not alone in this. And then I went into ministry and I was working with teenagers every work week and I heard story after story about how they would follow God, then wander away only to, to see it and come back to God's. And this wasn't just a teenager thing though, because as I got older, I worked with more adults and heard the same story from them. But it's also not just a, a point in time, a, a, a cultural thing, because Jesus tells a parable of the seeds that, that, that describe how the world would pull us away from those that would hear the gospel and it would pull them away from following Jesus. But this doesn't have to be the case. In Ephesians 1, Paul is greeting the church uh, that he's writing to, and he says, you are faithful in Christ Jesus. Today, if you resonate with this pull to wander away from the God you love, let me encourage you in a few areas. First, you can be, as Paul describes here, you can be a faithful follower. You can take on that identity in Christ. Your old self does not have to define your present self. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 reminds us that if anyone is in Christ, the old has passed away, behold, the new has come, that you are a new creation. So you are a new person, and that means you get to let go of the sporadic yo-yo spiritual walk you had and take on the identity of a faithful follower. I'd also remind you that there is grace in Christ. If you do have those seasons of not following Jesus the way you would like and not being as close to him as you should, there is grace and forgiveness in Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5 continues in verse 19 when it says that if we're in Christ, God does not hold our past sins against us. So God's desire is not to hold your, your past yo-yoing against you, but his desire is that you would come back and be reconciled as a faithful follower. So today, I pray that you would be a faithful follower of Jesus, that you would seek to start one day at a time drawing closer to Jesus, getting to know him through reading and studying the Bible and seeking to obey his instructions in your life. As you do that for a day, I pray that those days would turn to weeks and those weeks would turn into years and decades so you would stand in the place of being a faithful follower because of the grace and help of Jesus in your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you tomorrow.